Here in Georgia, if volunteers hand out bottles of water in these long queues of voters, they could end up in jail. That's because of SB202, Georgia's new voting law signed by Republican Governor Brian Kemp last year, intended to combat voter fraud. It rolls back measures introduced in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, which made voting easier and resulted in the largest turnout in American history. That turnout favored Joe Biden over Donald Trump, but the difference was fewer than 12,000 votes. It is necessary for people to have nourishment while they are standing in hours long lines to cast their ballot. And there was the closing of several polling places in many counties. Georgia's new law also allows for a citizen to potentially remove someone else's name from the electoral rolls by claiming they're fake voters. Recently, one person challenged 37,000 500 voters, and they really had no knowledge of these people. They just got a list and decided to submit it. I see it as voter suppression and intimidation uh, because it, it really does nothing to secure the vote. President Biden called SB202 a blatant attack on the Constitution. The Department of Justice has sued the state, saying the new rules primarily impact black voters in working class communities. Our complaint alleges that recent changes to Georgia's election laws were enacted with the purpose of denying or abridging the right of black Georgians to vote on account of their race or color in violation of Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. While the case is still pending, more than 2.5 million Georgians have already cast their ballot in early voting across the state. That's a record turnout in an election year when the president is not on the ballot and voting restrictions are being implemented. That doesn't mean that the measures weren't effective. It just means that there was sufficient um, energy that was generated to combat them. There are third party efforts to rebuild the public's trust in the voting process here. The Carter Center, founded by one of Georgia's most famous sons, the former president Jimmy Carter, is training nonpartisan observers to monitor the polls. Yasmin Asabawi, TRT World, Atlanta, Georgia.